Welcome back into the Happy Place Garden. I'm Melinda, and today we're going to be talking about Senecio candicans, also known as angel wings. It's this beautiful um, type succulent with these soft, um, fuzzy leaves on them, kind of like reminiscent of uh, puppy ears. And this is one that I got last year and it started out as a small compact with really big leaves. It was just beautiful. And, you know, since the summer and uh, overwintered it in my garage, it has gotten kind of lanky. So I thought today we would try to propagate it. I've never done it before, but uh, reading up on it, um, what they said is you need to take cuttings and then let those cuttings kind of harden off or callus um, since it can, you know, it's prone to rot. And then you can pot them in a, a well-draining uh, potting soil, you know, that's got lots of uh, perlite in it and allow them to root. So today we're gonna start by cutting it off. And it said to cut off um, maybe up to a few nodes um, and I'm wondering if it's possible to get multiple cuttings and multiple notes. I am not sure. So this will be a total experiment and you guys can join me on it. Here you can see a sample of how there can be dampening off. This plant is not tolerant of wet soil and I live in the Pacific Northwest and it rains a lot. So it had gotten some rain at the end of the summer before I put it in the garage. And there you can see, it's looking a little unsightly. So I'm gonna peel off some of these older leaves, and clean it up a little bit after we take some cuttings. And it should send out, at the leaf node, it should send out um, some new uh, stems. So we'll see what happens. This is the soil I have for it, which is a, a really great potting um, soil that's got tons of perlite, really well draining, and uh, peat moss. Senecchio do not like to be wet. I'm gonna take a few cuttings. There's some little branches off the side as well. Put my clippers down here. You can see there's a branch right here, or a little plant coming off here, and another one over here. So I'm gonna trim both of those and see at the, the base. Get that to focus in. There we go. So I'm gonna trim down here and here and get those. And this tall one, I'm going to prune right down here. I'm going to clean that up. So this has several nodes on it as well. So I might try and cut each node and let them callus and see if we can get each one to root. We'll see what happens. I mean, worst case is it doesn't work and I go buy a new one this year. So here are my cuttings, and these two, these were from the um, side shoot branches. They are already fairly calloused over. You can see how dark they are versus the fresher cuttings are really green. So these need to get callous so they don't um, mold or rot in the, in the potting medium. So I've got those two, this one, this one, and this one. So I've got five all together. So we'll see what happens. And here is the sad original little plant. Hopefully we'll get some new growth on it. We'll see what happens. Okay, so it's been a couple days. I probably should have gotten them planted or um, potted up yesterday. And um, as you can see, they got a little bit wilty. I left them in the garage to callus over but uh, we will stick them in the pots and then water them in and put them in my little portable greenhouse and hopefully they'll root. So to pot them, I just have a little stick here and I'm just gonna make a hole down into the middle. And with um, succulents, usually you don't have to use rooting hormones. So I'm not gonna do that. We'll see what happens without. 
a little deeper and then tighten up the, the soil around it. Another one. And this is one of the ones that was on, um, you know, I clip multiple nodes off of a shoot, so I'm not sure if they'll root or not. We'll see, it's kind of an experiment. All of this is an experiment. I've never, never rooted Sinocchio before. Okay, simple as that. Now we'll just get a little bit of water, not too much because they don't like to be too wet. And then we'll put them in a greenhouse. So here they are tucked into a little portable greenhouse here. I have some Brennera that was gifted by a friend that I potted up. And you know, you don't have to have anything fancy to try and do starts. This is a very inexpensive little greenhouse that you can pick up and we'll see how they do in here. It, I'm concerned a little bit about how much moisture or humidity will be in the greenhouse. Um, they might not like that, but like I said, this is all an experiment. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. So it's been two months since I did my little Senecchio Candikins experiment where I um, took this plant, which was very overgrown and um, and kind of leggy and I cut it back and tried to root them in and propagate them to see what would happen. And this is the mother plant that I started with and you can see where I had trimmed it back to the stem and it's flushed out some new growth from, from there. And it also has um, some growth from the base. So to do it over again, I think I would have cut it down further so it's not um, so leggy once again, um, the ones that you buy in a store are nice and big and flush, um, you know, more, more rounded shape, um, which I like that better. This kind of looks more tree, like a palm. Um, so I don't like the look that well, but it's, it's doing great. And, um, I have the other baby, which I will show you, um, in a, in a moment. And, but I wanted to mention too, with the, um, angel wings here is in the summertime, you do want to water them, but wintertime, um, you know, if you're wintering them over, they do not like to stay moist. Um, they can get uh, rot from that if it's too wet. Um, you can fertilize them, but they don't actually do well with much fertilizer because they get more leggy um, that way. So they're pretty a pretty low maintenance plant um, once you um, get them established. So water them when they're dry, but um, otherwise, you know, leave them. And in the winter, if you're like we are in the Pacific Northwest and it gets lots of rain, I moved mine into my garage and it did really well. It survived, obviously, and was able to get some babies off of it. So. I will take you in for a closer look. Here is where I cut and you can see the growth that's come out around the stem. And there's also the growth on the base there. So I think next time, like I said, I would cut it further down and hope for, for growth at the base. Okay, here's where I had the angel wings propagating in this, this plastic greenhouse. As you can see, got it off of Amazon. Started a few things in here. I have a little golden chain tree and a uh, privet and some geraniums as well. But you can see the progress of them, which this one here, which is looking the best. I'll move this out of the way. This is looking the best and it seems to be alive and thriving. And that was the top, um, which is 
the top of the plant that I cut, which is supposedly the best part of the plant to um, use for propagating. These others over here were just other pieces of stem that I cut um, and tried because you never know. And this one I think is rooted. It's in there firm. This one is not. You can see it just didn't really do anything. There's a few little hairy things on the bottom there that might have been rooted in, um, but it just didn't do anything. That one's kind of firm in there, as is that one. So they might be alive. So I'm going to leave them and see what happens. So here's the mom and the baby next to each other so you can kind of compare. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with this, probably pot it up in another pot and um, see if it gets bigger, see what happens with it. But overall, I think it was a pretty successful experiment and it was really fun to do. Only took a couple months for them to uh, root in and propagate. Um, so it, it was fun. So thank you so much for joining me today and um, seeing my two month journey on propagating my uh, angel wings. Take care and happy gardening. Bye-bye.